Many of the things that I am learning in Notion are things I'm discovering accidentally. I find that one of the best ways to learn how to use Notion or to play with it or to tinker with it and um, figure out what it does is, is, is there's no better way than just to get in there and, and see what things do and how they combine and how they link and that sort of thing. Um, but it, it, uh, one of the things I wanted to share today that I thought was really kind of cool, and you may know this already, um, but if you don't, I'm just going to throw this out there. Um, and I think it, it helps to see how other people are doing things to to get ideas for how to do things on your own. And I welcome that from others as well. Um, I'm still trying to figure out a good way, for example, to, to kind of do my daily journal planner setup. Um, I have a, a master task list that I've sort of dumped everything into and it, and it's a master task list that I can filter for sure, you know, and, and um, I can sort it and I can filter it so that I only have, like for example, I'm working on a, a wine tasting event um, so I can, uh, whoops, task, or excuse me, I can narrow it down so that the project contains only the wine tasting event. Um, and then I, you know, it kind of screens out everything else. So uh, I can narrow it down and just see the things I need to work on, and it doesn't seem quite so overwhelming. Um, but that's not what I wanted to show you, actually. What I wanted to show you today that I thought was really kind of cool, and, and again, like I said, this is one of those accidental discoveries. And that is if I hover over this, so this is my master task list, and I've got everything in there. I've got things for home. I've got things for my uh, uh, business that I own, Artisan Soap Shop. Um, I also work at a nonprofit agency. So I have a lot of different projects I'm working on, a lot of things I need to keep track of. And at this point, and I don't know that that's the best way, I have them all dumped into this master task list that I can filter and sort out. And my thought is that I will take some of those things out and 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 put them in a you know a daily you know in this daily journal planner thing so that it's you know I can kind of focus a little bit better but we'll see how that works but what I thought was really neat and this is what I want to show you today is that when I so this is the master task list it's it's a full page um, and you know and I can look at it like if I open this up I've saved different views so I could look at this by project I can look at it by priority um, or start date. That's probably one of my favorites at this point because it kind of really narrows it down a little bit. It's not well. <laughs> I thought it did. It's not quite a, quite as as extensive. But um, so there's different views in here. But basically, it's if I show all, it's it's got a lot of stuff in there. And I don't necessarily want to get into all of that. If I'm someplace else, let's say I'm in my soap shop or at home, and I just want to drop a, a task in there, all I have to do is hover over this and click that plus button, enter my task, and I can just, uh, everything that's in there, I can just pop this in here. Okay, let's say that that's related to Catholic Charities, and it's a high priority. Um, uh, it's waiting, because I haven't started it yet, but I need to get going on it. I could put in a date, you know, due date, let's say, I've got that in there, and it needs to be done by the, so let's say, the end of October. Um, throw that in there. Um, it's the wine tasting event. Um, wine tasting, I have that sp split up into different um, subcategories. So let's say this is set up. Um, uh, and, and this is some, for this particular project, I have different phases. But, you know, I could put all of this stuff that I need to and then click away and it's in there. And I don't have to, you know, I can go on about whatever else I was doing. Let's say I was journaling or something like that. I didn't even have to go in here. I didn't have to leave this page. All I had to do was hit that plus button, enter my task, and then go on my way. Now, if I wanted to find that task, you know, I've got, it doesn't even look like it's here, but just do a quick search and I can just go task. Uh, there it is. And I had actually done a sample of this earlier. I'm going to delete this one because it was already in there. Um, but there it is. Um, and if I click open, there's a task sheet and I could, you know, type in some more notes add a link, add a file, whatever the case is, but there's my, there it is. It's got everything that I needed. I know right where it's, I could find it if I had to. 
I'm going to go ahead and delete that now because I don't, I really don't need that. <laughs> but anyway, that's what I wanted to show you today because I thought that I, I was totally by accident that I discovered that I could do that. Um, so that's my tip for today. Um, and like I said, I am so new at this and, and loving the experience of learning what I can do with this. But I welcome other people's layouts and suggestions as well. Um, it kind of gives me food for thought as to how I can best organize my setup as well. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a comment if you'd like. And, um, and I'll try to leave, you know, one of these sort of learnings uh, every, at least every other day or so, so that it can kind of keep this fresh.